Captivate allows you to add closed captions for the slide audio and video in your project. And with Captivate 2017, you have a lot of customization options for adding and displaying closed captions in your project. Let's take a look at the workflow to attach closed captions to the slide audio. The first step is to add slide audio. I have already added slide audio here and I have synced the objects with the audio. The next step is to add slide notes. To open the slide notes panel, click window menu and select slide notes. Let's make it a little taller. And here you can start adding the notes. To add a new line, click the plus sign here and then you can type or enter the notes. I already have my closed captions available in a word file. So I'll copy the text from here and paste it in the first line. Then click the plus sign again and enter the next dialogue. And then copy the rest of the dialogues. After copying the text, you can make some formatting changes to the text like making it bold, italic, underline or change the color of the text. This change can be applied to the whole line of text or to an individual word. Let's make some formatting changes here. Let's boldface the name of the characters and italicize the expressions. Now to convert these captions to closed captions, select the audio CC checkbox. Then click the closed captioning button above it. Here you'll find the waveform and the text captions added to this closed caption section. Now we need to time these captions so that they are in sync with the audio. To do that, you will find some markers on the audio file marked with number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You need to move these markers at correct position so that the text appears at the same time when that audio is played. Let's make those changes. For that, let's move the slider a bit to the left so that we can see the audio track better. Now. Click the play button and pause it when Samantha's dialogue is over. Before we wrap up, one last thing. IT is coming over to update Adobe Captivate today. I realize you've got a lot going on, but please put this at the top of your list. At this point in time, we want the second line to appear. So click and drag the marker to the second point. Then play the audio again. I'm in back-to-back -back meetings all morning, but I'll be available after that. And then move the third marker here, scroll to the right, and then play again. I've got a bunch of stuff on my plate too, but I've heard there's some really cool stuff with the latest version, especially with responsive. And move the marker, and then sync the remaining text with the audio. Now that we have timed the captions with the audio, let's take a look at the customization settings for closed captions. For that, let's click the CC settings button. In the settings panel, you will see a preview of how the closed captions will look like on the screen. Here, the first thing you need to decide is that whatever customization you are making is for this particular slide or for the entire project. If you want to do the changes for the entire project, select project from this drop down. Then you can start making the changes. The first thing I want to do here is to change the background color. For that, let me open this drop down, pick the color picker and select the color from the top bar. That will add the color here. And now the text is black. Let's change it to white. I'll open this drop down and select the white color. I also want the caption to appear from end to end. So I can go to a line and select custom and then I can position it wherever I want. Here, let me position it at the bottom left corner and then I'll increase the width to 100% so that it covers the screen end to end. You can also adjust the height. So here, if you want the height to be only 10 pixels, you can change it and then move the caption down. You can also change the alignment of the text. Let's make it left aligned. Also, you can change the size of the text. You can also change the font to the font required for this project and you also have the ability to use any of the typekit fonts for the closed captions. Let's select one of the font here. You can also select show closed captions if you want the closed captions to appear directly on the screen as soon as the screen loads. We we'll leave this unchecked right now and click apply and then click close. Then close the slide audio dialog and click yes. 
With this, closed captions have been added to your slide. Now let's see the steps to add closed captions button to the play bar. For that, click project and select skin editor. Here, select closed captioning and close this dialog. This will add closed captions button to your play bar. But if you don't wish to use the play bar and use a custom button instead, something like this, you can use the toggle action for CP command CC variable. Now let's close this and preview this project. Before we wrap up, one last thing. IT is coming over to update Adobe Captivate today. I realize you've got a lot going on, but please put this at the top of your list. I'm in back-to-back -back meetings all morning, but I'll be available after that. I've got a bunch of stuff on my plate too, but I've heard there's some really cool stuff with the latest version, especially with responsive. Yeah, IT installed it for me last week. It's so... So this is how you can add closed captions to your Adobe Captivate projects.